Best thing, uh, working with, I guess, athletes that want to get the best out of themselves and still having that competitive nature, having played and no longer can't, it's the close, next best thing. Having not much control on game day, I think, you know, once we get to game day, a lot of it's left up to the players, so um, sometimes it can be frustrating, but um, yeah, it's still great to see the outcomes. Probably Luke Parker, low maintenance, trains all the time, plays well, don't have to worry about him too much. Luke Parker, can't get him off. <laughs> There's a few, um, I think like probably the captains, Kieran, Macca, Goodsey for obvious reasons. Um, yeah, there's a few. It was Jude, but he's gone now, so a couple have stepped in. Probably the senior coach, he has the most to say. But some people would find it interesting how we analyse. At times we're able to get replays of certain plays and we'll have quite a bit of a discussion about that, particularly coming into quarter time, half time and three quarter time. Um, so some of those discussions can be quite um, interesting. Probably winning grand final in 2012, I think it was um, quite stressful. Um, but I think the bigger the stress, the, the better the feeling when you win. So being a close game and just the performance of the boys, we were very proud. Had a couple of good ones actually. So I had Alistair Clarkson for a couple of years and, and Mark Williams for pretty much 10 years. So um, both, uh, you know, Choco was a good in instilling basics and good habits but um, Clarko I think um, I might have been a bit of a favourite of his and likewise back so a bit of man love between us two and I've got a lot to thank him for.